The announcement came as no surprise. It was only a matter of time before opposition leader Begum Khalidazia announced a countrywide general strike. From dusk till dawn, she called for a complete shutdown of businesses, schools and transportation. We were forced to call this general strike to protest against the failures and misrule of the government. In the last few months, media outlets close to the opposition have been shut down by the government. Channel 1 was taken off air abruptly because it allegedly did not meet government legal requirements. But staff believe that they lost their jobs because the ruling party resented critical comments. It's the political culture of our country. It's not only one government or two government decision, it's whole culture is uh, that, uh, this type. Previous governments have also shut down media outlets seen as sympathetic to opposition policies. Tit for tat actions that in the past have crippled the country. When in opposition, Sheikh Hasina organized more than 130 days of general strikes. Commonly known as hartals, these strikes are usually marred by political violence as party activists fight for control of the streets. In 2007, the fighting was so severe that a state of emergency had to be declared. Hartals are bad for business too. According to a United Nations study, previous hartals have cost the country a staggering 3 to 4 percent in GDP losses. We are trying to give a signal to the government. We are not doing this hartal or general strike to bring them down from power. But we are giving a signal to the government. An additional 10,000 police officers have been called into the city to prevent any violence. Already several cars have been set ablaze and the tension here is clearly rising outside the headquarters of the opposition party. Hundreds of people have gathered in a show of force to the government and also as a reminder to the public that they are a force to be reckoned with. Nicholas Hawk, Al Jazeera, Dhaka.